All right, good evening, everyone. So uh, a bit of a, a surprise this evening. The uh, I went to take the bins out. It's trash day tomorrow. I noticed the sky's clear, so uh, I decided to go in and set everything up. Uh, so we'll see how it goes. Uh, the mount had been moved, and I hadn't uh, done any setting up since I changed the uh, guide camera from the top to bottom and and all that sorts of stuff, as, a, as a, you've seen in the last video if you watched it. So nevertheless, it's all set up. Uh, everything synced up. The dome synced up. And uh, here we are uh, in Nina. This is the latest uh, version 2 beta 19. And I'm on the uh, Jellyfish Nebula IC443. So I'm currently running a 2 minute exposure, uh, again 100. And in the sequencer, uh, I've, got, uh, I've got it to run through until it drops below 30 degrees in the morning. I'll dither every five exposures uh, and it's also doing an autofocus uh, if it sees a half flux uh, increase and also it's going to do a recenter after drift. Now on the imaging, I didn't use the normal positioning for the jellyfish uh, which takes me up here somewhere, it, it sat too high so I moved the image slightly down and uh, if we look at the imaging here we can see there's the jellyfish there. So we'll see what happens in the morning. Uh, the guiding's not the best. Uh, I don't know why, but uh, probably because the guide's been moved, the camera's been moved, and I haven't done a calibration on it. So we'll just we'll see how it goes anyway, and uh, see how the sequencing works. Uh, the last time I think everything went okay except uh, the. I don't think the dome closed, which might have been just the comms fault, uh, that I need, or the comms dropout between the shutter and the rotator. So that's where we are, and uh, we'll see how many images this takes through the course of the evening. Hope the rain doesn't come back, and uh, as you can see here, the plate solving's just popped up, so this is for checking for the drift. So it's doing its thing, and it's played so fine, so all looking okay. I'll catch you in the morning, see where we are. Speak to you later. All right, so I downloaded all the images of the laptop, and uh, here we are in the uh, Pix and Sight in the Blink tool, and you can see we started off with 137 images, uh, two minute exposures. Again, 100, and this was using a UV IR cut filter. I thought I'd give that one a try to see what difference it made. And we can see there, there was a few clouds and that came in towards the end of the evening. Uh, you can see the, the flashing through there and a couple of satellite trails. So once I'd uh, gone through those images, taken out the things I didn't want, I was left with 101 uh, images. I took several different sets of flats. I was just trying different settings with the, um, the light panel uh, just to see what I could get. And then I took them into the Deep Sky Stacker and did the usual. Uh, I've got no darks, but I tried different sets of the, the flats uh, just to see how they would come out. And then after taking the usual outputs from Deep Sky Sky Stacker, the one on the left here is the adapt, sorry, average uh, stacking, and the one on the right is sigma, uh, the sigma clipping. Uh, and I think I ended up going with the one on the left, the average, uh, with one of the sets of flats. I can't remember which one it was. Not that it really matters, because the uh, data in was pretty poor. Uh, so what we ended up with, a uh, various uh, tune, tune around, trying to get various different things, different masks. Uh, but the quality of the data wasn't too great. I also think uh, because I'd moved the, the telescope mount at some point, and I also had changed the guide scope, I hadn't done any calibration on the guide scope. Uh, and the dome was now out of sync with the telescope, so I did get uh, overlapping towards the end. And we can see uh, on the back bottom right here, we can see quite a bit of uh, uh, contrast difference there to the main image. 
and uh, that was prevalent throughout uh, the majority of the images we can barely just see it here and uh, maybe see it better over on the, the red uh, but there is uh, a vignetting uh, around there which I think is down to the, the dome and also not having uh, good quality uh, flats so that's what happens when you, you rush things uh, but never, nevertheless it wouldn't be a, a normal light of astrophotography without problems so uh, Grabbing, the, grabbing an opportune clear sky and just seeing what we can get uh, and this is what we ended up with so after uh, playing around uh, trying the different things various different tool sets and uh, this was what I pretty much ended up with uh, best uh, the best I could get out of a, a bad bunch so uh, better than nothing especially when it was an unexpected clear night uh, but definitely a target uh, I want to go back to again, uh, get some more data and uh, or maybe redo the data. I'll also try uh, the, the Barra UHCS filter on it to see how that uh, pulls it out a bit more. Uh, maybe tones down the stars a bit even though I did do a star reduction uh, on here. Uh, but as I say, uh, the quality of the data coming in wasn't the best to play with. So I uh, have to make do with what we've got. Uh, and for some reason I prefer the uh, the jellyfish uh, round the other way. Uh, I don't know which way it's meant to be, but I've, I've moved that many things. It's uh, it's uh, not telling where it's which correct orientation is, but nevertheless that's where we are. So that was just a very quick uh, grab a grab a clear sky, which was unplanned throw the scope together even though it wasn't set up ready and uh, make the most of what we can do uh, unfortunately the rain's back on again uh, so uh, I have no idea uh, when the next clear skies are going to be so on that note thanks for watching uh, like and subscribe uh, if you want to see some more whatever's coming up and uh, of course if you've got any tips hints or anything like that uh, please do put some comments uh, and I'll, uh, I'll get back to them so thank you very much for watching and i shall uh, see you next time take care Clear skies. <laughs>